Hello, my viewers and subscribers. Welcome to another episode of Jamaica Politics Uncovered. If you are a new subscriber here, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I hope you're inviting all your friends to come over here and join us. Guys, on a note, the local government election is coming up. And Venetia Phillips takes some jobs at Mark Golding and Boy. But I think Venetia has her wings. She has gained her wings. She can fly and she can be great and she can be a woman and she can be free. And guys, I am here for it. But anyway, when you listen to Venetia and listen to the opposition leader and tell me what you think in the comment section. Because, you know, politics is nice, you know. I know everything personal, but it's nice. You understand when you listen up. I want to say to everybody who came on the walk, thank you for the support. Thank you for the love. And I was, as Comrade Small said, all PNP, any little issues, any little affliction, just love that man until we win the election. If you want to take it up after that, I'm not visit. But between now and the election, we are one family. And we're not dealing with them little petty things eh, because we want to move forward together. Because that togetherness and unity. It's going to drive the victory. One love, comrades. God bless you all. Guys, what do you think about this? I don't think Mark Golden understand what a clock a strike. He not understand what a clock a strike because there are some very serious issues happening in the People's National Party, including the perception and the reality of a murder cover-up. This is unbelievable, guys. I mean, yes, people also have a problem with the things that Mark Golden and Peter Bunting did to tear up, divide, destroy, and the cult with them farm within the People's National Party. He, it cannot be that he's so oblivious to all of that. Guys, if you scroll down on my YouTube channel, you will see one of the very first few videos I did was to tell you that Mark Golden is not here to lead Jamaica and its people to a better place. No plan, no vision. There is only one aim. Guys, I will never come to you and lie to you. i come out here, come start tell life and people for no reason. Okay? There's only one objective that Mark Golding has. And you can clearly hear it because for somebody to be so dismissive, to the turmoil, to the unrest and all the internal issues, including a murder cover-up that has stained the party, which he has failed to disassociate from or disassociate the party from. Let me tell you the reason why Mark Golding is here. Because this channel deals with transparency. As I say, anything we talk over here, so we stand tall back at that and pan top of that, right? So I did even have a pinch on and tell you that one year. The sole reason... Why Mark Golding and Peter Bunting want to lead Jamaica is because they want to be the top dogs in the Caribbean region with their investment friends and their investors and their business. Would you not believe me? Look here. Guys, on this channel, we do our best to inform you so that you can make educated decisions about the people who lead you. This article was written in 2022 and the title of it is Jamaica Group Targets Bahamas for Major Investments. 
This article was written by a correspondent of the Washington Informer. Called, his name is Oswald T. Brown. And as I said, it was written October 19, 2002. Here it says, Proven Group Limited, a Jamaican group with over $1 billion in total assets, unveiled plans to establish a physical presence in the Bahamas and is supplying the $20 million financing for the Bahamas government, 365 Renaissance Housing Subdivision. The Tribune, one of the Bahamas' leading newspapers, reported Friday, Christopher Williams, president and CEO of Proven Management, the entity that manages Proven Group, was quoted by Jamaican media as saying the company already has a great relationship with Bahama Prime Minister and his cabinet ministers. Within the three platforms, Proven Well Jamaica is well known, well established, and has been creeping into Bahamas, Williams said. So we have been flying in building relationships and we're looking now to establish brick and mortar on the ground in the Bahamas. When asked about the state of the Bahamian economy, Williams replied, it's rebounding very well. The international banker space in the Bahamas is very strong. The real estate space is strong and, of course, the tourism space is strong. We like the economy and so the Prime Minister and his ministers have been very welcoming to us. We have a great relationship with them. Proven Group has a strong political connection in Jamaica. One of Proven Management co-founders and a current director, Mark Golding, is leader of Jamaica's principal opposition party, the PNP, while another co-founder and fellow director. Peter Bunting served alongside him in the last of PSM's cabinets. Another co-founder and director of both Proven Group and Proven Management, Garfield Gary Sinclair, is former chief executive at the Bahama Telecommunications Company. So you see, guys, this is about connection in the region, connection to different heads of government, heads of states, so that they can broaden and establish themselves in the region. That is the only thing that this is about for them, you know, guys. They are investment bankers. And that's what Proven Wealth is about. They are into real estate and all sorts of investment. Why do you think they nearly killed Peter Phillips for the leadership of the party, guys? Why do you think them divide and destroy the party like that? The prospect of more power, more money... Think in terms of psychology with me, guys. The prospect of more power and more money made them more corrupt. And that's why they did that to the party and the people within the party and chase away, who forget, chase away and just hijack the whole thing because they are hostile, vicious at all. Are these people that should be in the leadership of a developing country? I don't think so. This is frightening. And that's why I created this channel to help educate you guys. It's not that people get up and just dislike them for no reason. We have seen the things that they've done and what they're up to. Remember, I'm me write this article, you know. And I'm me write this, I want to see it. They're trying to make friends with the leaders and ministers and cabinet members of other countries. And then they want to be in charge in Jamaica. That way they can use their positions and power to propel themselves further. This is not about the Jamaican people. You may have some PNP people who say, yeah man, Andrew for go on now, man, PNP time now. Guys, we have to stop looking on politics like that. Start looking at the characteristics of the people, the individuals, the men and the women who want to lead you. Look where Jamaica is compared to even Singapore right now. Jamaica is lagging behind where development is concerned. We are one of the best brands in the Caribbean region, if not the best. What are we doing wrong? We are not picking good leaders. We have to be careful, guys. We have to know who genuine, what them come about. You hear the man just say, stop one or do for now. When we win, we're not business one or do after that. Take sleep and mark that. It's true in my talk. And I really don't care if you get it. Okay? And don't get it twisted, guys. We are not against people hoarding wealth for themselves. We are not against people being ambitious businessmen and women. 
What we are for is a government and a leadership that is people-centered, Jamaica people-centered, Jamaica people development-centered, not their own business development-centered. You get it? So, keep it locked here, Jamaica Politics Uncovered. Invite your friends, keep subscribing, keep sharing, guys. I love the way that you guys are interactive over here. Thank you very much and take care of yourselves.